thing you could learn. <clears throat> like you can tell I'm still not fully recovered from my allergies, but hello everyone, hello. Hello everyone out there in YouTube land. I'm the Scent Maven. Welcome back to my channel, Shopping in Scents. And so I have a small uh, Dollar Tree haul to share with you of exchanged items. I did have to pay a, a price difference. I'll tell you about that. And I'll tell you what I returned and what I got in exchange. So, um... The first thing that I returned was the Black Amethyst Triple Moisture Body Cream. It was disgusting. It was this mix of sandalwood and patchouli uh, that I just, ugh, I just could not take it. And then I returned the Almond Blossom, which is a nice enough scent, but it's like a baby powder scent and it has this, this addition, my dog is coughing up a hairball it has this addition of like almond on top of the powder and it just I wasn't I just couldn't get with it so since I knew I was not gonna wear it I decided to exchange the black amethyst and the uh almond blossom for the pink watermelon I had to pay a three dollar difference because they didn't have I was gonna do product for product exchange so um, almond blossom for pink watermelon spray and then the black amethyst I got in the triple moisture body cream although I do prefer this they didn't have the black amethyst in this and they did not have the triple moisture body cream in the pink watermelon today they had it the other day they did not have it today so I had to pay a three dollar difference on this this was an even exchange but I'm wondering you guys if Bath and Body Works is, is tricking us again, is tricking us again, because what they've done is they've launched this as like a, I don't want to say it's a spring collection because it's not a spring collection. It's like a throwaway. It's a throwaway collection that they bring out for semi-annual sale. Like last year, the throwaway collection was the champagne sprinkles, that peach something, and that lilac no, not lilac, lavender or something. I should, I should get them out and show them to you so I can explain this properly and then do the haul. Okay, so I'm going to try to explain this to you guys, <coughs> especially if you're not Bath and Body Works fanatics, and then I will go through my haul. So last year, um, last semi-annual sale for the summer, the throwaway collection, which I thought... It had one of their best scents ever, uh, which is the Champagne Sprinkles. Then they gave us um, Honeysuckle Peach Tea, which smells like an armpit, but I got it anyway. And then the Candied Violet Sorbet, which from the picture you would think is like a bakery note, but it really isn't. So this was the throwaway collection from last year. Um, this year, this throwaway collection included um, Starlet, which I have, but I don't have in front of me. No, I don't have it in front of me. I should go get that. I should go get Starlet. Hold on. Okay. So this is, I'm calling this another throwaway scent, even though it's a really good scent. It probably is a repackage of something else. Although I can't tell you what, but it's really good. So the reason I say that is because they brought out Starlet and as soon as they brought it out, it went like 75% off or 50% off like they're, they're clearancing it out. So this seems like a New Year's scent. And then last year what they did, they gave us another kind of throwaway collection, which was pretty good. Uh, which was the pink tie dye, the cotton candy clouds, and endless weekend, which they brought back again. So now they've like replaced this uh, with pink watermelon, pink watermelon, uh, summertime surf, and endless weekend. So these are not really the spring new new collections because they're gonna. They're coming out for, for semi-annual sale and then they're going away. So when they bring out stuff just for semi-annual sale, just to get you to come in, and then they 
then it goes out, then it to me is like a throwaway collection because it's not really in for a full season. So I think they duped us on the pink watermelon. Yes, there is a pink watermelon candle. I should get the candle to see if it smells like the candle. Hold on. watermelon as a candle and this is a smart smart um way to dupe us because we know that watermelon lemonade has come out like a trillion times and probably people i know there are people that love it to death but, but there are people who are sick of watermelon lemonade so what do they do they take the lemon note out leave the watermelon note and turn it into a new scent and now it's pink watermelon so they did this in a candle and now they have it in body care. So today I exchanged my almond blossom spray for the pink, pink watermelon spray, which is in this ombre bottle, which looks exactly like the ring that I got for Christmas. If you guys watch my channel, um, and I got the pink watermelon, um, body lotion because they did not have the body cream this time and I wanted to do even though I prefer this I wanted to do an even exchange so because I couldn't do an even exchange because they didn't have product for products I ended up paying a three dollar difference so but this was uh, product for product so now this is juicy watermelon pink petals and dewy aloe the candle Pink Watermelon Sugared Strawberry Blossoms Lime Zest, which I don't smell any of that. So Pink Watermelon, Juicy Watermelon Pink Petals Dewy Aloe. So they're doing their best to um, take out the lemonade note to try to make it a new scent. And I think they were successful in that, but I think they're like running out of ideas because is this really new, new? Instead of watermelon lemonade, it'll just be watermelon. So yes, they did take out the lemon scent. So if you do not like citrus and you want to change up your watermelon scents, um, this is a good one. And then also, this is the spray. Juicy watermelon pink petals dewy aloe. So I'm going to spray a little bit of this. It does have, it does have, um, they, they did successfully replace that lemon scent with like a floral aloe kind of plant smell, which is nice because if you're like me and you just can't get on board with the watermelon lemonade bandwagon, you want something not as citrusy. I think this is a nice change up. So it is different. So pink watermelon and water, watermelon lemonade, you will be able to smell the difference. It does smell different than the candle because the candle does say it has sugared strawberry blossoms and lime zest, which I don't smell at all. It has like more of a, this has more of a candy scent, sort of like a, like a, a Jolly Rancher, kind of a Jolly Rancher scent. And this has more of like a floral plant scent. So then the other exchange that, oh, I, was, I wanted to show you. Previous incarnations, look how similar. So this is the watermelon lemonade that came out in the uh, last semi-annual sale, I think. And this is the, so you can see they're kind of like changing it up a little bit, making it more of a little, little more elegant. Um, so watermelon lemonade in the body care, this I got because you can't really, you can't really smell the lemonade. This is watermelon ice, sparkling water, sugared lemon, but it's not super heavy on the citrus. And that's why I picked it up. So that, that was from last season. And then of course they included it. They threw the watermelon lemonade in the summer sodas, summer drinks, summer sips line. 
Um, and that's, I picked up the watermelon lemonade because I figured why, you know, I wasn't going to get it because I was like, do I really want to smell like a lemonade? You could smell the lemon more in the Sprite. So there is a definite difference between the, um, the watermelon lemonade and the pink watermelon. Definite difference, definite difference. So I would say I like the pink watermelon better because I just, you know, I don't want to smell like a lemonade, but I don't dislike the watermelon lemonade, but it comes back all the time. So then I exchanged my, um, oh no, this I actually purchased. This I purchased because they ran out of it last time. Last time I purchased Summertime Surf in the body cream because it came highly recommended by Tina Marie. And last time they did not have the Summertime Surf in the spray. So this time I did spend the 50% off and get this for like eight bucks. But I saved my receipt and I know this will go down to 75% and I will get a price adjustment. The thing with these collections and you, I found out with the pink tie dye and the cotton candy clouds, those collections that are 50% off, I normally tell people don't buy 50% off, always go 75% off, but those collections disappeared where you couldn't get the complete set by the time they went to 75% off. So what I did last year, which was a giant pain in the ass, was I bought all the collections at 50% off, the ones that I wanted, the pink tie, the pink tie dye, the cotton candy clouds, saved my receipts, and then went back at the end of the sale and got them for 75% off with my price adjustment. I did the same thing with Firecracker Pop and Bonfire Bash, and I think a whole bunch of them, Denim and Daisies. Um, so yeah, last semi-annual sale, I, I violated my own rules by buying stuff at 50% off because I knew it was gonna disappear. So if you know it's gonna disappear and you really want it, just make sure that you like leave it in your bag, leave it in the bag on the side there, unless you're just dying to use it. And it's a lot of stuff. If it's one item, it's one item. But if it's a lot of stuff, leave it in the bag with the receipt and go back and get a price adjustment, which you're totally entitled to. So anytime, anyway, last time I got the Summertime Surf, this was in the collection with the pink lemon and pink uh, watermelon and Endless Weekend. And I don't care how many times people, there goes my spray. I don't care how much people rave about Endless Weekend. I do not get Endless Weekend. I don't get it. I don't get how people enjoy that scent. I just do not enjoy it. Um, the same thing with uh, Japanese Cherry Blossom and Moonlight Path and Twilight Woods and that Midnight Pomegranate. I just, I don't get it. I do not get Endless Weekend. Um, you know, like I said, I trusted Tina Marie on this and most things, but she, you know, says about how Endless Weekend smells like an Endless Weekend, smells so summery, so what, I don't get it. But to each his own. So anyway, last time I, oh, last time I got the Summertime Surf in the lotion, this time I picked it up in the spray, like I said, at 50% off, and I'm going to save the receipt and get my price adjustment. So this is Vanilla Breeze, sea salt sands and sunny coconut so already they're bringing us the coconut she said this smelled like candy i didn't get that from the the body cream oh but that's nice i didn't get it from the body cream the spray the spray smells like a little bit less like coconut this is it doesn't smell like candy. Vanilla Breeze, Sea Salt Sands, and Sunny Coconut. I like this. I like this. This smells like the beach. Not like at the beach. Not like the scent at the beach or in the sun. But this has a nice, like, feminine kind of perfumey scent. You know, like a hint of the beach and the ever so slight coconut. You know, Bath and Body Works likes to OD on the coconut all year round, no matter what season. They'll make Christmas coconuts, you know, or, you know, a Christmas in Hawaii or something like that. They'll put coconut in everything, just like they put vanilla in everything. I like this, and I know they're going to sell out of it. So, 
Uh, like I said, I got this the other day in my, um, oh no, this was an exchange because this was 50% off. These are still 50% off. So this I got as an exchange. I forget what I exchanged for this. Um, and then this I paid the 50% off and I'm going to get a price adjustment. The last thing that I exchanged um, was the uh, berry waffle cone. The berry waffle cone that I picked up was 75% off. It was weird because it was yellow in the front and white in the back and it had a paper lid. This one, it's already starting to turn yellow in the front. So maybe it's like a thing with this candle. I don't know. It's, it's kind of turning yellow all around. I have no idea. I haven't had this sitting in the heat. It's been in a, a cool, dry place. So why the color is turning, I don't know. You know the body creams turn. So the berry waffle cone, since I already had one, and I was weirded out by that yellow. And when I brought it back to the counter, I said to the girl, mm, it's yellow. And she looked at it and she was like, ew. Um, so she took it back. So since I already have one in my collection and since the room spray gives me a headache, I didn't want to have two in my collection. So I brought back the 75% off berry waffle cone and I got, no, I didn't, I didn't trick them and get like a brand new, new candle like that Prosecco frosting. I got a discounted candle. So the candle that I picked up is the one that people were saying was everywhere. They only had a few at my store. Um, and that's the Love Cotton Candy Champagne. People were saying that they had uh, seen so much of it everywhere. Like they were trying to figure out what was wrong with it. Why weren't people buying it? And to me, this is one of, this is the only scent out of that three, the Joy, Peace, and Love collection that was worth anything the snickerdoodle one i didn't like it the other one it's like a raspberry bellini or whatever the hell it was i just mm. so joy was the only one i liked in that collection and to me it smells like cotton candy mixed with champagne toast i have it in the body care i love the body care love love um, so I don't know why I wouldn't like it in the candle. Does it burn poorly? I, I don't know. Um, this was not 75% off. This was on the 50% the off or 1195 table. I forget what table it was on, but it was not 75% off, but it was a discounted candle. So it's not a new, new candle. So I know cause there are people that, you know, will, will buy all discounted stuff. And then when the new, new comes out, they exchange all their old, old for the new, new. I don't, I don't believe in like running a racket like that. Uh, so yeah. And this is bubbly rosé, sweet strawberry, pink sugar with natural essential oils. So that was product for product. Um, and that's what I wanted to tell you about. Um, I figured I'd make this into a little bit of a chat video because um, that pink watermelon really had me um, I really do like this. You could even mix these together. You could even mix the pink watermelon with the summertime surf. Um, I do think these are, are worthwhile scents, even though they're throwaway scents. Um, and I do recommend them. And like I said, I have a feeling that if you wait until it goes 75% off, you're not going to be able to find the entire collection. Um, meaning that the shower gel, the lotion, and the spray. So if you want it, I would say get it now, hold on to your receipt, wait for that price drop because you've got two weeks for the price to drop and it will drop. And then you can get your price adjustment. Oh, I got a frog. You, you get your price adjustment. And believe me, that price adjustment adds up even though I end up just putting it back in Bath and Body Works anyway, but you get the most bang for your buck. So that, that's my recommendation on this. So I hope you found this video informative. If you did, remember to comment, rate, subscribe, follow me on Instagram at Shopping and Sense, and I will see you all in a future video. But until then, happy new year and goodbye everyone out there in YouTube land.